What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right. So we have been waiting and waiting for Stephen A. Smith to say something in regards to this Michael Irvin situation. All right. Now. He has not spoken about this on ESPN First Take, and I doubt that he's going to say anything about this in the foreseeable future on ESPN First Take. But he did speak on this situation with Michael Irvin uh, on his other, uh, on his podcast, excuse me, uh, what is it called? No Mercy. He did speak on it on that pod, on that uh, program, and. Stephen A. Smith, for the most part, endorsed his support of Michael Irvin, all right? Uh, he said, from what he saw on the videotape, he saw no wrongdoing, all right? He was clear about that. He was adamant that he didn't see any wrongdoing when he looked at the tape and that he supports his brother, all right? Now, he was adamant about that. However, we know Stephen A. Smith, and we know how he likes to straddle the fence, play both sides, and can be non-committal when it comes to one of us. All right? Now, while he did stress his support about Michael Irvin, in the situation and believes that he is innocent and said he didn't see any wrongdoing. He did say this. There's no audio on the tape, so therefore I am not sure what he said to the woman because we can't hear that, right? And he also said something about, well... To all the trolls out there who want me to say something, I'm not going to put myself in a position without looking at the evidence and blah, 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 and that, this, and the other. All right? So I'm assuming he means, even though Michael Irvin is his brother, he had to see the tape for himself before he put himself out there for his ass to be twisting in the wind and to be attacked by you-know-who, the, you know, the Michael Irvin haters. And he also referred to this situation with ESPN, basically saying that he hasn't said anything on the show uh, and not spoke about it because it's a, quote, PR issue. Excuse me, not PR. It's an HR issue, human resources issue. Because we all, as we know, Michael Irvin is an employee of ESPN and he's currently uh, suspended, right? Which I think is baloney. Because I don't understand how you're suspended when you could conceivably be innocent, right? You're being punished for being innocent. This is my problem with Stephen A. Smith. He had no problem looking at that photograph of, uh, what, a 65-year-old photo of Jerry Jones, right? And he had no problem, even though Jerry Jones was standing near the epicenter of all of the racial hatred. Like, he wasn't standing in the back and being a bystander. No, no, no. Jerry Jones was standing near the front of the entrance where the most hostile people were, right? That was accosting those young black kids trying to entry into that school that was segregated. Now, we don't know what Jerry Jones was saying. Right? But he made sure he stuck out his neck and reaffirmed Jerry Jones' innocence. But there's no, nothing in that tape, excuse me, nothing on that photograph that suggests that he did anything wrong. But we don't know what he was yelling if you want to play that game, right? He could have been yelling the N-word. What was he, 14, 15? He could have been yelling that. 
but you were very adamant in protecting him. And you were very, very adamant in protecting Dana White, who's affiliated with ESPN, even though we saw him slap his wife. But you did everything that you could to characterize him as a human, and we can't judge. And yeah, he hit her, but you and Molly, y'all totally flipped it. Y'all didn't do Ray Rice like that. Oh, well, the alcohol was involved, and, you know, people, when alcohol is involved, you, you just, you know, sometimes you do things, and, you know, we can't judge. And, well, Michael Irvin was intoxicated. Apparently, right? But ain't nobody trying to hit that as an excuse. The goddamn buck dancer. So I'll just say this. Stephen Smith came out and voiced his support for Michael Irvin. But you know, for, for us, we just get 70% support. You know, he, he makes sure that he has a little bit of a leeway to... To, to, to renounce Michael Irvin just in case something goes south, right? So if you listen to the podcast, you'll hear a lot of ambivalence with Stephen A. Smith. Well, I support, I support Michael Irvin, but at the same time, uh, it's a PR matter. It's a PR matter. And I don't know what was said in the tape. I mean, it could be uh, conceivable that he said something wrong, or, but, but, you know, I didn't see any evidence and I support my brother, whatever, man. You just a uh, tap dancing, want to be on fair on both sides, Negro. Take a damn stand, man. Take a stand for once. You do it for Jerry Jones. You did it for Dana White. And when you talk about this, this HR issue, right, you, you don't want to speak on it. Well, that didn't stop Michelle Beadle from snitching on your ass, going to her fucking bosses and getting you suspended. You can't stand up for Michael Irvin, but she sure went went behind your back and went to the bosses and got you suspended. But anyway, I guess that's an apology from, I mean, not apology, a voice of support from Stephen Smith. That's as good as you're going to get. Tell me what you guys think. Just one more thing. Me personally... I think it's possible Michael Irvin may have been flirting with her, but from her body language, she was very receptive to it, all right? Now, whether it was a setup or not, I don't know, but I personally don't think Michael Irvin did anything to the point where he should be fired. He shouldn't. Fired? Fired? And they, all these people talking about, oh, he he should know better. He shouldn't step to a woman. First of all, what the fuck are you talking about? You guys act like some scary-ass Negroes, man. And some of these dudes, look, some of these dudes that are defending that woman so much, I have a, a sinking suspicion that if she was a sister, y'all be more ambivalent. And if that was Tom Brady talking to a black woman, and she was accused. Y'all be all on Tom Brady's side. I mean, I don't see what Tom did was wrong. I mean, yeah, Tom touched her on the elbow. I mean, but, you know, Tom's a Tom's an angel, you know. He's a, a knight in shining white armor. You know, I don't see what the problem is. I think she's just one of these money-grubbing sluts, you know. Uh, you know, you know how some of these, what those, those types are. You know, she's lying and conniving. You know, one of these ghetto, ghetto gagging type chicks, you know. I think I saw her on Ghetto Gaggers. She's a liar. You know, one of these ghetto hoochie mamas trying to get, trying to get paid. Fucking buck dancing ass motherfucker.